Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Treasures of the Savage Frontier. All right, let's head to uh, Orlambor. Let's see. Oh, 600 hours. Okay. Whee! I see there are ships here upon which you can leave Mintarn. I can accompany you to Orlambor, but if you travel to the mainland, I cannot go, for my place is in the Isles. Oh. The sailor here says, For 75 platinum pieces, your party can book passage to Orlambor or Neverwinter. He adds in a whisper, I can also get you to water deep for 100 platinum pieces. Uh, let's go to Orlambor. You start walking up the gangplank when Ellie shouts, Wait! Where's Sulagia? All desperately calls out the name of his lo lost love. What? Bastards! Look, Crow shouts. The skiff has met a vessel outside the harbor. A burlap sack, its contents wriggling, is hoisted on board, and the ship sets sail to the north. Follow that ship! shouts Ald to the seamen. Hey, we've got a shipload of passengers for Orlambor. Stay or come, but we're leaving now. Oh, we're going there now. Um... I guess we'll leave. The party climbs the gangplank, and soon you are making your way out of Mintarn Harbor and sailing on the trackless sea. Ald stands silent and dejected at the rail. Ooh. Some people are really going to be getting some, uh, some smacks pretty soon. Well, as long as I'm uh, here. Let's uh, encamp. Alter. Order. Let's move Yagerda up there. How's that? Well, this is definitely not a good turn of events. Banner above this doorway reads, Company of the Brazen Pennant, Passage by Sea to Mintarn and the Sword Coast. We have ships leaving each morning at 0600 for Mintarn and Neverwinter. The fair for your entire party will be 175 platinum pieces, and you'll pay at the dock. Wow, that's expensive. I'll have to look around this island, see if we can find, uh, see if anything happened to, uh, uh, you know, maybe she was brought here. You notice guards escorting a man off the same ship on which you just arrived. The dejected, gray-haired prisoner carries only an armload of books as he is led away. Well, that's strange. sign carved in the shape of a hammock hangs above this door. On it are the words, Inn of the Swinging Hammock. This ship repair facility seems less busy than those you saw as your ship entered the harbor. Hmm. Ooh! As you pass through the secret door, you immediately recognize that you have entered a secret temple, and you see the sigil of Talos emblazoned on the walls. The occupants of the shrine immediately turn to attack the party. Well, I'll teach you to, uh, um, actually, let's not do that. I'll teach you to, uh, uh, worship the god of destruction. All right, we'll go with a fireball next as well. I just want to get all those host tower mages. Do, 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 do. Ah! Woohoo! Why do they almost do seven points of I gotta go look to see up see how much damage they actually do. Cause they always seem to do seven points of damage. Oh, that was a crystal battle. Interesting. Ah! It's a good thing that we have all the crystals that we need. That's okay. 
Do 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 do. Ah, oh, nice damage there from Yukira. And there's only three of these guys left. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Come on. Last guy. Come on, time to die. There we go. Found treasure. Let's share it out. You know, one thing that I'm worried about is that uh, um, we will actually not get um, Yagerda's items back, the ones that she had. Okay. The Sea Helm. Interesting. Let's take that. I'm glad I noticed that. Alright, who has the lucky paper? Someone has some lucky papers. Leylon. Are there any lucky papers of Leylon here? No. Are there any lucky papers of Neverwinter? There are indeed. And the Luskin papers are new, I believe, so let's we'll take a look at those in a moment. Nope. Look at this, Elmadreddin tells everyone. Those threatening warships off the coast of Orlambor aren't from Waterdeep at all. They're pirates flying the Waterdeep flag. Wow, you don't say, men. You don't say. Tilgar Wrightson of Orlambor will be anxious to hear this. Uh, that's not who I wanted to look at. The Lord's Alliance is divided. They are, they all blame Waterdeep for our attacks. The heroes of Ascor and that meddling princess Yagerda from Gunderland will try to stop us. Send all free forces to Luskin to stop them from interfering. Hmm. Well, definitely have to uh, see about that. I think we've I think we've checked out all these others. Yeah, seize the docks at Mintarn. Use pirate ships. From... Yep. Right. And make sure Halbach stays in Far Windward. Well, we'll have to check out Far Windward then. Yep. All right. I think we've already checked out all of these others, and. Uh... check something. I don't think we need to go in there yet. Oops, wrong door. This way. Uh, let's go into the inn. Yes. Get our spells back. And we'll save the game. The building to the west, much of it carved from the stone cliff face, bears the sign of a ship repair company. To the west, a massive ship repair facility has been cut into the face of a massive cliff. Workers inside the building carry rigging and lumber in every direction, feverishly working to repair their clients' ships as rapidly as possible. A brass plate on the, this door states, Rogeron's House of Arms, your best defense when discussion just won't do. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see, so do we have anything that we need to identify? Let's start with these bracers. Sea Helm is a uh, Helm plus two. Well, 
I don't know, maybe it has some elemental protection or something, I mean, like fire or lightning or cold protection. So we'll equip that. Oh, and I joined the uh, arrows plus two that I had, so that's good. Oh, I forgot to check to see if they had anything for sale. Anything good for sale, I should say. Nope. A small castle rises on a cliff to the northeast, its walls and towers polished smooth as glass but by centuries of wind-blown sand. Entering the castle, you are recognized as the heroes of Ascor and are immediately ushered in to see Tolgar Wrightson, leader of Orlambor. Man, it's nice to be celebrities. You share with Wrightson the information proving that the warships in the harbor are not those of Waterdeep. Ah, this of course explains everything, the leader of Orlambor tells you. I shall summon the ambassador of Waterdeep immediately. When he sees this, he will know what to do. Congratulations, party gains experience, and Ald can go up a level. Yay! So I'm beside this door reads, Sword Coast Traders, items of interest for interesting people. Yeah, do you have anything good? Belt of Protection plus one, and Cloak of Protection plus one. Otherwise, no. Don't think there's anything interesting in any of these. Temple of Gond, Hall of Shipwrights. Nope, and you still look like Priest of Lathander. The sign above this door isn't really a sign. It is the completely realistic head of a beautiful woman with long red hair that blows gently in the ocean breeze. Please come into my magic shop, the head says pleasantly. You'll find many interesting items that may be of use in your days ahead. Uh, of use to you in the days ahead. Are you interested in magic? Yes, indeed I am. And why are your words multicolored? Oh my god, now we have synesthesia! I ha don't have a whole lot of gold right now, but I do have... Ooh, Wand of Ice Storm. Potions of Giant Strength, those are always good. And scrolls. I don't think there's a vault here. No, there isn't. Let's, uh... Didn't mean that. Why that? There we go. Let's see if I can trade these to uh, any of my warriors. No. Okay. All right. In that case, let's start selling stuff. Yep. 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 Let's see, that's a fair amount now. Okay, he can't get any more, but uh, we can buy Mage Scrolls. Buy a um, actually let's uh, let's have Elmendra to buy a clerical scroll, and she can buy the wand of ice storm. All right, let's see what is on those scrolls that I bought. All right, slow blink and stinking cloud, fear and two magic missiles. about on that clerical scroll? Heal and heal. Actually, that's not too bad. That's pretty good.
finally got one of those. Okay, let's trade that to Elmandretta. Anything else that I can trade to someone else for now? I think it might be good for now on scrolls. Let's head back to that uh, inn. And see if we need to, if we can scribe any of these. Ah, uh, crap. About two of the same scroll. Well, I guess it's just fear. I don't care much of that. I don't care that much about fear. Let's see. Anything else that I want to buy? I've got the mage. I've got two ones of ice storms, and I've got those scrolls. I think we're good for now. Potions of giant strength would be nice, but uh, I don't really have much, many places to put them. I can come back and get some later. Okay, so that's our first real magic shop. It's not fantastic. Um, later in the game, we'll actually find places that have weapons plus one, but. Breastplate here announces Office of the Coastal Cooperative, Board for the Progressive Administration of Far Windward. You talk with an official here and record your conversation as journal entry number 41. Where are you, 41? The Bureaucrat's Story. I see you may be going west to the town of Far Windward. It is on the other side of a very long tunnel through the mountains, so long that it will take you days just to pass through it. Sounds like a really big island. Far windward itself is on a rocky peninsula in the on the western edge of the island. Top high cliffs that make escape by sea impossible. Guards prevent the inhabitants from leaving through the tunnel. You can come and go as you wish, but remember that far windward can be a dangerous place, filled with the outcasts of every city on the sword coast, and the descendants of past generations of outcasts. Each resident has a bright red circle tattooed on his or her forearm. They may never leave, and the penalty for assisting in an escape is death. That sounds horrible. That's not very progressive. The path ahead enters a cave in the side of the mountain. You can just make out that the passage seems to continue to the south. Alright, well, let's go in. Oh, look, a secret door. Several ogres are in this room, some asleep, some eating a thick, disgusting slop from crude stone bowls. One shouts an alarm, and they all run to attack the party. Oh, great. They're behind the wall. That's quite a few ogre shamans. And some ogre magi. Okay. Delay, delay... I'll cast a fireball. And another fireball. Whee! Don't you cast a spell. How dare you. Whee! Ooh, nice. Most of them.
There we go. And there. Uh, 48 platinum. wonder if I can rest. Yes, I can. Good. Actually, you know what? We haven't looked at the cr we haven't used the crown yet. We hear that the kidnapped ambassadors of Neverwinter and Mirabar, the ones whom you recover, who you are accused of taking, are hidden in Neverwinter. Go there and rescue them. Oh, that's right, because I already took care of the uh, thing here. Okay. But there's still some things to do in this part of the uh, game. Out of nowhere, great lizards fill the tunnel. Let's flee. You've gotten away. Woohoo! The floors of this room are uneven and covered with rubble. Without warning, monsters push up from beneath your feet and attack the party. Ow. Ow. Killed by a mage. That has got to be very, very embarrassing for a boule. I really like these combat icons for the boules, too. Come on, we can kill it. There we go. Party has found no treasure. And that was my phone. Apparently I have an email. Okay. Well, enough of that. Let's flee. I don't want to deal with rock lizards if I don't have to. Flee. You are unable to escape. Oh, I'm sorry. Rock reptile. Yay! So nice. Ooh, 666 experience points. So nice when most people hit. This room seems to be filled with spider webs, but the material is thicker, like rope. Suddenly, Elmandretta cries out, Camp Fultz! Whatever the heck those are. So giant Camp Fultz and Great Vilstrax. I have no idea. These are from the Greyhawk. I know that they're in the. Uh, Second edition Greyhawk Mon Monsters Compendium. I have no idea what the hell these things are. I think they might be new creatures, but I don't know. <laughs> and of course, they were at the in the opening demo. And Boulez join the party. Great. Ow. Crow is being crushed. And more boules join the party. Great. Not crows at least. Good. Oh come on, stop missing.
Whoops, nope. Don't attack the ally. Attacking allies is bad. Ow! 20 points of damage. There we go. Ah, funsies. 1750 experience points. I have no idea what the heck those Vilstrax are. Maybe I should go back and look at my first edition mo monster manuals. Thick strands of rope seem to hang from, from the walls beyond this archway. No, it's not rope. They're monsters! Oh, crow. Stop getting crushed all the time. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm not sure which one is crushing crow, so I assume it's that one. It means I can't move. Oh, great. Boulets. Or boulets. Ah, good. Crow's released. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't I said I hit A, not S. I'm not even sure where the boulets, boulets are right now. Ow. Ow. I'm not going to be able to get around the fill strike, am I? Oh, there's the, there are the boulets. And more of them join the party. Here it is, released. And it's dead. Let's go with a fireball. Let's see if we can soften up these uh, boulets a bit, or some of them. Oh, stop crushing me. Shit. Bandage. Good. Crow is released. I'll take her up there. It'd be a bad idea. I do really like the uh, mechanic of bringing in enemies. Annoying sometimes. Fix rest. Good. The only reason it's taking me many days to get through these tunnels is because we keep getting attacked by monsters. The cavern floor here has several large holes punk punched in its hardstone surface. Suddenly, a new hole opens and fearsome monsters attack. Which is Poulet's. Not that fearsome. Then again. There we go. Kill the ones attacking Yagerta. So that she doesn't die again. There we go. Ow. Would 
two people, two stupid bandage. Then you get to stop dying. <sighs> Time to find a different place to put her in the order. I'd also like to get better armor, but it doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. And of course, since she's using two-handed weapons, she can't get the benefit of a shield. There we go. Get any treasure for that? All right, let's see. Or alter, order. Here to move up there. There we go. A simple wooden side beside beside this sign beside this door states: "Too far, Windward. Proceed at your own risk." You walk for three full days due west through a single straight passageway through the mountains, never seeing sunlight or feeling the touch of the cool sea breeze. Finally, you emerge into a section of cavern with a higher roof, with guard, with guard posts on either side. You record what happens there as journal entry number 33. Hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. Let's see. The guard story. The guards in strange uniforms step up to inspect the party. You may stay in Far Windward as long as you wish, they told us, but when you leave, none of the citizens may come with you. Far Windward is maintained by the major cities of the Sword Coast as a community for those who are unable to live with others in normal society. Please understand its importance and its benefits, and respect its rules. Remember, the penalty for attempting to escape from Far Windward, or helping others to escape, is death. Well, that sounds like just really, really rude. All right. Yeah, that was that was kind of an understatement, wasn't it? Well, let's see what's in uh, here. Nothing. Nothing. It's just the guard chambers. Um, the floor of this chamber is broken and crumbled. Prepare for battle! Alt calls out, and moments later, great monsters break through the ground and attack. Oh, you'd, you'd think that the guards would, I don't know, maybe take care of the boules that are here? Kind of protect the citizens and such? I don't know. Seems like something they'd want to do. But what do I know? Oh, come on, people. Let's try killing some of these. Ow. Ha ha ha. There we go. Let's head down this way. Finally, after days without sunlight, you emerge into the fresh air of Orlambor once again, this time on a tiny peninsula high above the sea, far windward, lies before you. Apparently it includes people, guys wearing dresses, pushing a wheelbarrow with a pig, and a parasol. And, oops, that's not what I wanted. Save... With this, I think we'll end the episode. We'll pick it up in the next one as we uh, explore Far Windward and uh, figure out if there's some way we can help these poor people. See you in the next episode.